Jason at Blue Ox Model Shop posted a question about what model car stuff are you taking when the crap hits the fan? That crap could be a natural disaster, zombies, or whatever else could make you GTFOD. I replied with a somewhat personal answer because I've actually had to deal with that not once but twice in the last six years, having been impacted by two major hurricanes. Yep. That is Jim Cantori's head on top of my house. And this is Tavares' McLaren P1. As well as these now famous cars, we're only a mile and a half away. Getting that out of the way, and the question is ultimately being asked in jest, I guess I should answer what I'm going to grab. So here we go. I've got quite a few builds, and picking just two is tough. But the first one would be a no-brainer. My Coral Aura would be at the top of the list. I keep it in a pretty safe spot most of the time anyway. You might have seen the video Model Car Muse did where Doug White and I discuss it. Number two becomes real tough though. I think the next one I'd grab is one I didn't even build. I already made a video about this one, so I don't need to go into much detail about it. But if it survived this long, it's worth taking. So I gotta pick five kits to get out of town with. So, here we go. We're going to start off good. Bam. This kit doesn't need any kind of introduction. What's so special about this one is those that know me know I have a thing for 68 Impalas. And um, it was actually given to me by a very good friend. Given. And the best thing about it, it's about as minty as it can be. What's this? Oh, even has some Setco tires in there. That's approved. It's all there. Nice. Will it ever get built? I don't know. I just, I need a kit to look at make me feel good. That one does it. Moving right along, we got another 68 Impala. This one is a little bit different. This one is a Palmer. I hunted for one of these for a long time. And again, it's pretty mint. It has um, roof is broken right there, but the pieces in there, it's pretty fun. It even has a hideaway light grill in it. Um, yeah. As I said, I got a thing for 68 Impalas. That one will come along with me. Continuing the theme, I'll probably take this one too. This one is pretty neat. I remember buying this one at the old Toledo shows back in the day, back at the old Mud Huttons. Back before eBay and all like that. And the thing about this one that was so neat. Again, it is nice and minty. But even better, it was sealed inside when I got it. And I busted the seal off of it. This one, this one has a pretty good chance of getting built one day. We shall see. But that is quite fun. Then I got another one from the Toledo heyday, the Astro Vet. Yep, this one, super nice, super fun. And again, this one was really neat because it was actually steel sealed on the outside. And I opened that one up. It's nice. I'll probably build this one. That would be a good builder. How about that? Last but not least. You're like, what? A Ravel snapped together 
Pontiac Firebird. 16th scale. Minimum painting, easy to assemble, no gluing. That would probably be a pretty good one to take if we have no glue and we have no paint. And then this one has a pretty personal tie to me. I looked a long time for this one because it's a part of the ones that I built when I was a kid. And I remember getting it. I, I actually built it on Christmas morning. And there's the proof. So there you have it. Five kits and two builts. That's what I'm grabbing when the zombies come a-knocking. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. You guys know what to do because I have all kinds of model car stories to tell. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here.